Hey, it's Chris, and in this video, I'm talking about COVID-19 and how pandemics, actually, and specifically epidemics as well, uh, are, are quite common. So we tend to think of COVID-19 as this super scary new thing. And of course, it is new. That's why we're a bit worried about it. But actually, epidemics and pandemics happen quite a lot. And a lot of the media reporting around this is saying this is just completely unprecedented. We don't know how to deal with this. This has never happened before. But that's not true. And so in this video, I want to normalize the idea of pandemics and reassure you that actually as a society, as a, a medical scientific community, the world knows how to deal with this stuff. So you might be familiar with Spanish flu, that was 100 years ago now, probably the worst pandemic we've had, killed a ton of people, and this often gets compared to that. Obviously, we got through that, we survived, but I don't think that's the maybe the best example of comparison. And of course, if you go back to, say, my parents' generation, the big thing back then was AIDS. That was a big unknown. Of course, now we know how AIDS is transmitted. But back then, there was a lot of unknowns, so a lot of stigma about it. And everyone was worried that it was going to kill loads of people. It did kill loads of people. And now it's not... It's obviously a very meaningful thing to anyone who is HIV positive, but it's something the world is understanding and treating and managing the symptoms of and getting better at. And then if we look at what's happened with epidemics, you can go to Wikipedia and you can look up a list of all the epidemics. And it turns out there are 63 this century. So since the year 2000, 20 years ago, there have been 63 epidemics. Now, m admittedly, mostly those are like cholera flaring up in the developing world. But well, you might be in the developing world, in which case that is scary. But there are a lot of epidemics going on like that's like three a year. This isn't something that just happens really occasionally. Actually, epidemics happen a lot. And a lot of them spread around the world. A lot of them are scary. Remember SARS, that was 2002 to 2004. And MERS, which is Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, that was flared up in 2012. These things were super scary because these had a much higher fatality rate than COVID-19 does. Then more recently, we've been through the Ebola crisis that went on for three years, 2013 to 2016. Again, that's, uh, I mean, Ebola is a, is a really serious disease. You did not want that. Um, but we got through it. It's getting under control. Um, it's no longer classified by the World Health Organization as an epidemic, which is great. Then, do you remember swine flu? That was 2009 to 2010, so 10 years ago now. That was huge at the time, and the media never mentioned this. The media never mentioned the 24-hour rolling coverage they did of swine flu, the 150 to 600,000 people, the, the way it spread. There was all the, oh, we think it's coming from Mexico, and now it's all over the world, and now everyone's going to die, and the NHS had massive plans, and every, every country in the world was desperately trying to get hold of Tamiflu and Valenza, and there was all the coverage about trying to get all this medication shipped around and how we could keep everyone safe, and now no one mentions it. And it was this big thing that we were all super scared of, and then it just went away. And I, I, yeah, it took years, and it was a big deal. But none of this is unprecedented, right? So even though we've got COVID-19, now COVID-19 seems to be the most serious thing we've dealt with in a while, because it's everywhere it's gone global it's truly a pandemic it's in pretty much every country and we're struggling to get it under control and we don't really know how to treat it a lot of scary stuff there but again i, I mean at the moment the death count's going up but it's still nowhere near the size of swine flu it's no way it's i could eat my words there but i will stake my heart it's, it's going to be nowhere near and near a spanish flu because we don't have the global cooperation, the medical knowledge, everything now that we didn't have 100 years ago. So when it comes to 
the whole idea of COVID-19 being something new and scary and unknown, it is partially some of those things, but actually epidemics happen a lot. We've had 63 in the last 20 years alone. As a global society, we know how to deal with these things. And this is just another one. It's a particularly bad one. It's one that we're having to do things like all this social distancing and lockdown. So it feels a bit scary. But that also just reflects better medical knowledge on our part of how to stop it spreading. And we know how to deal with these things. It's not a new thing. It's not an unknown. And we will get it under control. So this isn't entirely something new and scary it's just like swine flu it's come up we're gonna deal with it and we're gonna together we're gonna get through it because we know how to deal with this stuff